we will write a program to check if a number is prime or not. We know that if a number is prime, that means it will not be having any other factors other than 1 and that number itself. For example, 3, uh, then 5, 7, 11, 13, all these are prime numbers. We know that. So how to check this? Let's take, uh, say, for example, if n is the number, we can check from 2 to n by 2. Okay. We can check from 2 to n by 2. Let this be uh, stored in value i. Or i value may vary from 2 to n by 2. And let's check the remainder, like n percentage i. If the remainder is 0, that means i is a factor. Okay, so at any value of i, if n percentage i becomes 0, we need not check for the rest of the values. If there is at least one i found, that means i is a factor. That means n is not prime. Okay, so in this case, in similar programs, what we do is, let's define a variable, say flag or uh, you can give any name, but uh, we can give an option is to give the name as, say, flag. And let's set it as 1. Let's initialize the uh, value as flag 1. And flag 1 means that the number is prime. So we are just assuming that the number is prime. And let's initialize the value with flag is equal to 1. And during this loop process that is when i varies from 2 to n by 2 if it if 2 is a factor then there is no need to check for the rest of it okay so in such case at any time when n percentage i become equal to 0 then that means that the number is no longer prime so to show that we can change the value of flag to 0 so that's what we are doing in this program so let's initialize int flag is equal to 1. This is to show that we are just assuming that the number is prime and then we have a loop variable say int i and the initial value is say 2. Okay, I can start from value 2. And now what we are doing is while i less than or equal to n by 2. Okay, while i less than or equal to n by 2, what we have to do, we have to check for this thing. If n percentage i equals equals 0, then what should be done? 1 is flag should be made 0. Okay, because it's no longer prime. And you can give a break also. Okay, so if n percentage i equals equals 0, that means i is a factor. So, it is no longer prime. To show that the number is no longer prime, you can set the flag to 0. Initially, it was flag 1, assuming number to be prime. Okay, but here n percentage i equals 0 means that what is that corresponding condition? i is a factor. If that be the case, number is not prime. So, when number is not prime, flag should be set to 0. Okay, and you can give break also. And one more thing is there. Within while loop, we have to update the loop variable. So, when we concentrate on the loop, we know that the initial value is given as 2. Condition is given along with while. And the value loop variable is incremented within the loop itself. So, this will repeat. And what you have to do is, this is the loop. Okay, outside this loop, we should write, say, we should check the value of flag. Okay, if flag equals equals 0, what is the meaning? If flag equals 0, that means printf number is not prime. Okay, else you can give print of the number is prime. Okay. So here the program is complete and you can end it with braces. So let's go through the program 
we here we are doing a new thing so like this is we are giving a new variable say flag it can just have two values we initialize it as one and assuming that the number is prime and if there is any change we set it to zero and outside the loop we check for the flag value if it is zero that means number is not prime within the loop what we are doing is i changes value from 2 to 10 by for all these values it checks for n percentage i that is the remainder obtained from when n is divided by i so let's try to compile enter a number you know that 13 is prime okay 13 is prime again let's check one more a number which is not prime say 10 number is not prime 